Uh, ben Beaton here. This is just a short film to uh, talk to you about uh, an artwork that I've created um, in collaboration with uh, Gillian Scott called Deep Time Clock. This is one of Gillian's illustrations at the centre here. Um, this work, uh, I created the, the, the content um, these these various maps. What I've what I've done is you can this is uh, a vantage point of the Earth looking down um, from outer space onto Antarctica, so from the South Pole. And what it illustrates is the separation of the various continents over uh, a little under two hundred million years. So here's Australia here, New Zealand, and um, South America, Africa here. So each one of these shapes goes back further and further in time as the continents break away from the main continent um, of the initial um, map of Gondwana land. So once Africa, South America, Zealandia, um, a small remnant uh, remains of that and we call that New Zealand and uh, also another remnant of it remains and we call that New Caledonia um, India as well um, were all part of this this one continent so this work was about um, you know making that visible a little bit more to give you an example of another way of looking at things um, I said it was a little bit under 200 million years this is Australia here you can see Africa um, South America, India is in here. So this is another way of looking at the same things um, as what you're seeing in that artwork. So this is the Jurassic era. That's the time of the dinosaurs, the middle period of the, the dinosaur uh, time, which is um, uh, um, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous. They're the pe three periods within what we call the Mesozoic, which is the dinosaur time. You can see the inland sea in Australia, so sea levels were much higher at this time. Africa and South America are breaking away from each other. And actually the tip of South America was joined to uh, Zealandia at a time as well. And we know that because the plants uh, in New Zealand and um, South America, also Australia and in Antarctica as well, there is, uh, in a number of cases, particularly Antarctic beach, Nothophagus, the same type, same genus of plants. So you can see the separation over time. This is what this artwork is, is really about. See, in India's cut straight through the ocean, it's moving up to create the Himalayas. And, of course, the sea level uh, falls as ice culminates around the poles. This is the our last ice age in the Pleistocene era and uh, Australia of course has a lot of megafauna in in that uh, continent at that time so that's another way of looking at this artwork and in the center uh, with Julian's um, drawing that I put in here it's um, a bunya pine and you can see summer and then winter a smaller amount of growth and then summer again and as this is uh, a plant which is one of those more ancient type plants um, that has uh, a link with Gondwana it seemed fitting that I, I put it in this centerpiece of the work. 